good morning you guys welcome back to another vlog with me Seppi why don't we do this bit really slow welcome back to another vlog hey, vlog um, if you don't know who this is, this is my sister Sol. And if you're new here, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Press like. How can they like it if they haven't watched it yet? If you like, if you get to the end and you still like us, then hit like. You can press like even if you don't watch to the end. <laughs> um, we Same. are currently at Heathrow Airport, and as you can probably tell by the title of this vlog, we are off to Milan. Um, we literally yeah, booked this, this yesterday, like. 26 hours ago we got we got back from Iran two weeks ago um, Sol is going off can I say no not yet this vlog won't go oh, for another go like two weeks so Sol is going off to work Um she has got a job on the NHS Maybe I'm a little happy two-year foundation training program for dentists which is the most incredible like as in uh, for a starting up dentist like who just graduated and she just graduated from a university abroad like that is the best opportunity there is for even UK home students so we are so proud of you so and um, we are just gonna go and celebrate that which is the reason why we're going away I've already started uni but um, it's the weekend so I don't have uni guys I don't know what to do with this let's see I quite like this so got this last year for Iran as like a cover-up um, and yeah, so she's wearing it as a dress now though. Okay guys, we should add that we didn't get much sleep last night. Yeah, we slept like two, three hours. Basically, the show that I was on, if you if you know about it, um, I was on a show on Channel 5 called Rich Kids Go Skin. And um, it originally aired on Channel 5 Star like three, three months ago. Um, and then they just played it for the first time on Channel 5 and um last night and we were just reading all the tweets on twitter and some of them were so funny we were up for like an hour <laughs> we're at an hour actually we went to bed at 2 30 can we do a shout out <laughs> no we can't because then they'll read our tweets some of you were just so funny um Seppi yeah. wanted to like so many comments but i just couldn't wait let's all see if the check-ins open the reason why i started the vlog early is because for the first time ever we're like two hours early to check in. According to Sof, we were traveling my mom and Sina, we'd 100% be late. Definitely. Yeah. All right, well, catch up with you guys soon. So we've just arrived at our hotel room in Milan. It's 2.30 and we want to go eat, but I thought I'd show you the hotel room because it's so cute. So all setting up the safe. This is the bed. And then it's got like a view of the central station. Um, which is like meant to be like it's meant to be one of the like I don't know really good points in town I feel like we're in the Victoria of Milan but I could be totally wrong because this is my first time in Milan so let me know um, but yeah we're just gonna get ready to go find somewhere to eat um, yes yeah, the center like the city center center um, is apparently 10 minutes from here um, so we're gonna we're in the Grand Cent Grand Central Station or Central Station? Is the Grand Central Station not in America? I don't know. Maybe Milan has one too. But cool tourists. And a pizza and a pasta. We're cool tourists about to take the metro. I love the accent. Everyone's being so friendly. Mm -hmm. Like super nice. I really like Italian guys and girls but guys are the only people we've spoken to so far have you spoken to any girls yes i haven't the hotel concierge oh i wasn't there she was nice she was nice very nice oh my god i'm so hungry it's basically sol and i took the stairs to account for some of the calories about to consume Gelato, tiramisu, coffee, anything else that we're doing? Chicken milanese. We're in Milan. <laughs> oh my god. How did I not realize this? So we've come to eat at Gatto Rosso. And we just shared a pizza for starter and we're getting pasta for main course. 
Russell's being antisocial. Sorry, I'm texting. So Gatto Rossa is in the Duomo de Milano. So if you're coming here, I'm just gonna explain a bit of the geography for you. Pretty much all the main landmarks that you hear of in Milan are all right next to each other, as in like they're all in the same circle radius, like 0.1 mile radius. So you've got the Milan Cathedral, and then just to the left of the Milan Cathedral, when you're facing it, is the Duomo de Milano. Is that it? Duomo? The Duomo. Duomo. The Duomo. And, everyone's and when it says Duomo, it means this dome shopping center. And inside the shopping center is all the designer stores, um, loads of restaurants to eat. And just so you guys have an idea of price range, pizza was, our pizza was, I think, we got a salami pizza for 12 euros, and this is like the nicest restaurant. And our pasta was about 18 euros each. Um, and this is, I think, like the creme de la creme of restaurants in Milan. Like, it's it's underneath Louis Vuitton and all this. So, I'm gonna keep my camera out so that I can show you guys the pasta, but the pizza oh. was so good. It was the best pizza I've had in my life. Definitely. Incredible. Amazing. The most incredible bolognese and carbonara so i'm wearing a jumper just to hide how like be malicious be malicious my outfit was on the metro thing that we got to corso comma say it corso comma corso comma um, we've come to corso comma which is meant to be the nightlife district of um, um, and it's Friday night here. Friday, so, Friday, Friday. Just checking out the town. Everyone's sending these weird balloony things. I don't know what that is. Buongiorno, so we have come to. I think the vlog already know by now that we're in Milan, so I don't know how to face it, so I'm not in Milan. But we've come to the cathedral. We actually want to go. Shoot! We want to go into the cathedral. They're not going to let us in like this. We could go to Zara and buy some clothes. Stupid. Look at all the pigeons. Wow. Okay, we th that, that was literally just so stupid of us, I can't get over it. No, we literally just came here to go to the cathedral. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go up to the security and ask them. Oh my god! Okay, these pigeons are getting too close. I'm gonna go up to the security and ask them if we can go in. Excuse me, we're so sorry that we have an awful lot of side boob and front boob <laughs> and everywhere boob. May we get in? <laughs> Please. That's the plan. If you don't ask, you don't get. Okay, I'm scared a pigeon's gonna knock my camera out of my hand, so. BRB. So we just had lunch. It That's was super happy. yummy. And then we had ice cream. If you have me on Instagram, Persian Bunny, um, I usually it's so like the small bits and it will be under my Milan highlights so you guys can check it out um, and now we're walking towards the castle um, I don't know what it's called though like as in I read it a minute ago and I've forgotten but how pretty are these streets Sol says that the streets remind her of Madrid um, whilst I feel like it looks a bit like Riga um, if you guys watch the Riga vlog, you'll probably see some of the streets and stuff there. And you can see like the whole tram lines and loads of pedestrianised places where cars aren't allowed. It just re really reminds me of Riga. Um, but Salsa reminds her of Madrid. Amazing. It's very attractive. Like ridiculously yeah, attractive. Yeah, people are very beautiful. Loads of people have... They're very welcoming. Some people have said that I look Italian. I'm taking it as did a compliment. Did you just compliment yourself? No, I, did, I just said I'm taking it as a compliment. People have Italian said... Italian people are very beautiful. <laughs> Loads of people say I'm Italian. No, I'm not lying though. So how many people said I look Italian? She's just jealous because no one said she looks Italian. But yeah, my so arm is cool. I was Colombian today. Who? She's making it up. Oh, another thing that's super annoying is when you want to take pics outside the Duomo, and um, people come and they throw like these little corn 
uh, things around you and it makes all the pigeons come around you um, now don't get me wrong I'm not like fussed about a pigeon but like a hundred pigeons around you in my opinion is really freaky and then you tell them I don't want this and then it makes them like feel like it's funny and then they throw even more corn around you so next thing you know you're like trying to get out of like an army of pigeons right like by the end of it you're like screw it I don't want the picture in front of the cathedral or like and it's only when they see that you've got your camera out to take a picture that they do this otherwise they don't do they do it if you don't have your camera out? No. no. It's only as soon as you whip your camera out and you look like a picture. So literally, I'll get in my spot, I'll be ready and everything, and then I'll be like, so quick, 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 get the camera out. <laughs> like rushing to like take pics before the pigeon men come along and like ruin it for us. But we obviously found ourselves in I really want to try this. So we've reached the castle, how beautiful, you guys saw how pretty is it? Stunning, we've not even gone in yet. And then it's got like this fountain at the front. Oh, I look like I had the castle is called Castello Sforzesco. We're definitely pronouncing that wrong. But um, maybe it's a silent air. Castello Sforzesco? I don't know. How pretty! I want to live in a castle like a fairy tale. That's a lie, I don't want to live in a castle. I don't know. It's pretty and historical, but I feel like if I lived in a castle, I'd get creeped out. Like, at how many other ghosts have lived in this, like, place and haunt it. It looks like something out of a fairy tale. I want to stay here. This is our starter. It's Parma. It's a uh, thank you. It's a uh, prosciutto and mushroom pizza. And we are in Corso Como. Why do I say everything with an Italian accent? <laughs> I don't know why. A very BBC Italian accent. I have to start eating this. We also bought a pasta for the main course because that's just what we do here. And I'm looking forward to trying to. So literally goes, let's help them clean up because <laughs> she's so impatient for her gnocchi. Um, you guys don't understand. Saul's favorite food ever is four cheese gnocchi. Um, and we found someone that does it here in Italy. And she's literally... I like it. And she's trying to eat tactfully. Basically, <laughs> when you get to Italy, you'll realize that you need to eat tactfully if you want to eat everything you want because your stomach doesn't have the space. Please. This is how Saul ate tactfully. Okay. She I took off the <laughs> top layer of all the pizzas. Yeah. I was just a beast. I was beasting and that's why now I'm sitting like this. Please. Just putting a side note out there, my personal trainer is going away for two weeks from next week as well. So I'm gonna be on this on my own. You know, it's it's like extra punishment. He's gonna be like, shame, you did this yourself, now deal with it. Oh my god, I'd do this to myself every day. Why is my camera not focusing? And they serve wine by the jug. You guys, this is incredible. And everyone's so attractive and friendly. Everyone's friendly, I ridiculously I friendly. I think the motto of this trip is that I love Italian people so much. And we're moving to Italy every weekend. I can't move to Italy, otherwise I'll become <laughs> obese. I, I'm willing to pay that price. I don't I care. Literally, type two obese. How oh, beautiful. And this area is called Corso Como, and it's like the nightlife place of the city. So um, all the restaurants, all the bars, um, and a couple of clubs. My food's here. Bye vlog. Sorry. <laughs> and this impatient soul. Thank you. Thank you. So we ordered tiramisu and Sol has a theory. She's saying it's incredibly tasty by the way. But she's saying you have to order it. Why? I was saying so we should tell the table next to us. They need to order it. The theory is that if the entire world is getting fat, no one's gonna Guys, it's crazy delicious. It's amazing. Look at her 
are trying to set it to you so you get fat. Selling your dreams. Nah, it's actually in incredible. Why don't you eat some tiramisu? Oh, I really am so full. My jeans do fit me. I don't know what to do with that. Some wine vlog. Um, so we're going to a pub called Just Cavalli and it's owned by Roberto Cavalli, the design, fashion designer and it's essentially one of the best pubs in Milan and I've read online. So we just went inside the cathedral. This is what we had to buy. So in case you guys are thinking of visiting the cathedral, the entrance to the cathedral and the museum was three euros each. And if you're not covered up like by how much this anorak covers you, then you need to buy one and it's two euros fifty. Just some tourist information for you guys. And the cathedral was beautiful. I didn't really want to record inside, I just wanted to sit and enjoy it. Maybe take some I wish that I had some money with me. Oh yeah, we only have card and we wish we had um, euros to buy candles. candles to light. That was the only thing that you need to. But it's just it's nice. nice. Um, I don't know if you guys have watched the Riga vlog, um, but if you have, we also visited a, a Russian Orthodox church there because Sol used to live in Riga for like five years studying dentistry there and um, she loved going to that church. Um, we're not Christian, um, but we like to, we believe in God and we like to visit all kinds of places of worship wherever we find peace just you know it's very peaceful very you know it doesn't matter for us if it's a church that we're visiting or a mosque that we're visiting or uh, I've never been to a synagogue Monastery. but <laughs> if it was a synagogue or I've been to temples um, we just like to see how everyone worships God and honestly we're all just doing everyone who worships God is doing the same thing right and um, we're praying and we're saying thanks so um, it's interesting to see. Now we just probably take off these anoraks. It is beautiful. I don't think I took a single photo. I just didn't want to. I sent a video to my parents. <laughs> this is like the cathedral and this is like the back road behind it. And it's got loads of like shopping. I'm wearing like this dress that I got. Um, Shall I record yeah. you because you look really cute? I got this dress from a shop. <laughs> in uh, Kuala Lumpur called Simple Bean and they have a store, but they have an Instagram so you maybe can shop there and I think it was like um, 10 pounds or 15 pounds of our money and then I got this lipstick yesterday from Sephora, I don't know what it's called but I'll, oh wait, I've got it here. Um, this lipstick I got yesterday on sale at Sephora and wow it doesn't have a name, that was clever. It's like an orange, um, but it's really good quality um, uh, for three euros, especially. And my sunglasses are Celine, and I'm wearing it with Nike trainers that I got in my net a porte haul So, the bag. The bag. Is that it? Oh, yeah, Sol's very hungover because we went to. Um, what was the name of the club? Roberto Cavalli Club last night. Very nice. It, it's an oh, outdoor one. club. Yeah, it's an it outdoor club. It feels very LA. Okay. Um, one thing I really liked is like um, wherever we go, like if we ask like security or police for directions, they will like escort you to where you have to go. Um, they like escort you to where you have to go, which I think is like incredible, like really, really, really nice. And um, we had like the police taking pictures, like like touristy pics for us yesterday yeah. in front of the Duomo. <laughs> um, yeah, everyone is the so security friendly. security at the train station walked us to our hotel. Yeah, because it was night time, so he was like, don't walk alone. And look, this is an Odeon cinema. He, wait, there. How is that a cinema? I really want to know. Probably the world's prettiest cinema. So this is the Duomo with all the designer places and we're gonna go eat now. And like that, so that way is like the cathedral. And Sol is lagging and leaning against a wall. <laughs> Come on Sol. Come on. <laughs> Don't drink, kids. 
do not drink. Yeah. FYI, Savini has the best gelato. I 100% recommend it. Guys, I tried pistachio. Yeah, I love the cappuccino. Great. Arabian coffee. The pistachio was so nice that I got the pistachio. I like again. the pistachio, I like the cappuccino, and what did I get yesterday? Oh, the chocolate hazelnut. She gave me a bit of a, I don't know, like allergy or something. I don't know. I'm weird like that, guys. So you guys, also I'm wearing a top. Um, I never got to finish my Milan vlog just because I was so sleepy from the flight, as you can tell from my eyes. Um, but I love you guys so much, and if you enjoyed this vlog, then please give it a thumbs up so I can film more for you. Um, and make sure you subscribe to my channel. I love you guys, and I can't believe how much we have grown on here. Um, and I hope that we continue to grow. And I love you all, if I haven't said it enough. And I love reading your comments. Literally, your comments make my day. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have I already said that? I actually have, haven't I? That's literally what I just rambled about. Um, but yeah, my socials, that's what I meant to say. My socials will be across the screen. Um, my Instagram is Persian Bunny. My Twitter is The Persian Bunny. And my Snap is Sepi Samoy. Love you guys. Bye.